pie chart showing the breakdown of the different revenue sources. And the majority of our money is state money, 51% of our money. 34% of our fees and interest income, 12% is the county contribution, 3% of the district programs, which are this assessment transaction that we talked about. And the next chart, we just show the 10 year history of the primary funding sources, and you can see the change in our grant and aid, state grant and aid. One of the reasons that that grant and aid looks like it's increased as much as it has is because of those in increases we've gotten for the health insurance and retirement. The actual money has not gone up because expenses have gone up too. So it looks like, you know, you can see big jumps in 12, 13, and 14. It's just because the French rates started climbing so high in those years. And they did give us some additional money to help cover those. The county, um, you know, used to be at 360. We were cut back to 325 in fiscal year 11, and we're still at that level. Prior year fees, you can see the change in the fees. We you know, had a good year back in 2011 when we had the H1N1 income that came in the health department. And then we started you know, going back down again, but as you can see in 2014, we're, we're up, and that's mainly due to the final reference income and the increase in administrative claiming from the prior fiscal year. And immunization. Yeah, immunization, yeah, If you look at this next chart, you can see these are just, if you add up, I don't have a total column here, Numbers under the fiscal year 13 column, it's going to add up to your fee income on the page before the 896 500. And that's just the breakdown of the different types of fees, and you can see how they've changed. The, under the other column, the, the big the 30,000 is almost all of that is the school flu income that was produced this year, and that, that's great. You know, Lisa, them, Lisa, you may not talk, y'all did almost tell me about the schools. We're still waiting on some money from the state. The state's supposed to reimburse us fifteen dollars a vaccine for the children that did not have insurance. But that is, I haven't got that projected in. We'll get that money in before it's about fourteen thousand before the end of the year. So that's part of the thirty thousand. The vital record of immunization and whole harmless. We're talking about fifteen thousand dollars. Yeah. More than we thought we might have. We could have a lot of work on this part. Some of the other areas. As you see, vital record, that's up to almost $68,000 just in vital record. So that is our biggest fee increase. Um, our Medicaid money looks like it's up because the administrative claiming money is under Medicaid. <coughs> Client income is where the people come in and pay cash at the health department and also environmental fees. That's down slightly. Um, environmental is down only about $3,000, but about twenty four dollars that's just the cash payments. And, you know, we try to analyze when we see that money going down. Part of it, I think, is just due to the economy now and having less people coming in and actually being able to pay when they come into the health department. And we also have some other money that comes in from our breast test programs when the health department does those services. And if I have money left in that program, I may be able to pay the health department more money in that 